Hello everybody, um, and a special hello to my friend Darko, uh, also known as Lanius. You guys can find his link below. He's been encouraging me to get back to videoing. Um, it's been a while. I know. It's been a while. I don't know why my hesitancy. I've been staying busy. Uh, using that as an excuse to avoid making a video, I guess. I know it only takes minutes to actually record. I feel sometimes I am dragging my feet a little bit. Um, have you had a few setbacks? Uh, past year was a rough one. I, um, I had my nephew living with me, my sister's oldest boy, and that was rough. <laughs> um, he was with me for two and a half years, and the majority of the time he spent trying to find ways to get high, and <sighs> he finally crashed. <laughs> Literally, he totaled my dad's truck last year in May, and um, then he did my expedition under which I had been forced to give to him by my mother. Uh, he finally went on a three-day bender where he became violent, and we had to have him arrested, unfortunately. Uh, for elder abuse because he assaulted my father in a drunken rage, uh, drugged outrage. Um, had to temporarily file a restraining order and he was in jail on that and then a neighbor filed some assault with deadly weapon charges because he had gone down the street making threats to a neighbor boy with a 22 rifles slung over his shoulder. So they thought that was enough. And uh, he, he has been sentenced to nine months, I believe, in a state prison down south somewhere. Uh, he has to complete a violent offenders program there and then will have to go to a halfway house strictly supervised for three months after that before he can come home again. Uh, I'm hoping he will have his head on straight by then and be ready to become a productive contributing citizen um, rather than a burden on society. Just basically what he has been up until now. I'm so sorry to say that. It hurts me so much, but is the truth. This is what has become of my sister's boy. Uh, a lifetime without a mother can do a lot of damage and I guess his dad tried his best but Eric found a way to get into trouble no matter what, and uh, growing up in Las Vegas, Nevada probably didn't help being close to, uh, you know, drug trade on the streets right there, easy access, I'm sure that contributed to his choices, but ultimately it was his choice and he has to face the consequences and that is what he is doing right now. I am certainly hoping that he comes out with a better attitude and I will be able to write a much happier ending to this story in uh, part four of A Letter to Heaven uh, as we are already entering the 22nd year. It's so hard to believe sometimes that so much time has gone by. I look at myself, I think. 
how can I be this old? <laughs> 20 years older than my sister ever got to be now. And I was a year and a half younger than her at one time. Time is so strange. It's such an illusion. It goes by so fast, and yet sometimes it drags on endlessly. Moments seemingly take hours and weeks, months, years just fly by. I don't never have, never will, <laughs> I guess, understand it. But it's all so wonderful when you think about it. We get to experience this very strange and bizarre reality where things are material, physical. We get to touch, feel, experience things we cannot experience in the spirit. And I believe that is the purpose for this life. So, <laughs> we should reach out, grab every moment, <sighs> take in the sunshine when we can. <laughs> I've enjoyed playing in my garden this week since I didn't pass my exam. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't pass my exam. I, uh, took the doctoral qualifying exam uh, the first week of February and uh, a couple of things came up a couple of days just pulled me away from my studies and I wasn't able to get the research done and therefore I wasn't able to get the writing done and did not end up getting the exam finished in time and so I received an incomplete, which is a no pass. And I have to make a second attempt at the end of March. <laughs> so I'm on break still for another month. So um, let's see what else have I done. Um, I released my first children's book just before the end of the year. Uh, this is the way I brush my teeth. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's backwards for you guys, but, uh, I did all the illustrations and everything. <laughs> um, my like no man. Uh, it, it's, uh, kind of an instruction manual for kids to teach them how to properly brush their teeth. Uh, <laughs> something I wish I would have known when I was a young child. Um, I learned a lot in the last 50 years about that. So uh, it's my hope that my book will help many and uh, generate a little bit of income for the animal rescue uh, because all proceeds from sales of my books will go to help the animals. Um, if you don't mind, uh, check out both of my books. <laughs> um, I am going to be releasing part two of A Letter to Heaven very shortly. Bear with me. Uh, possibly while I have some time off this month. <laughs> See if I can get a couple videos out in that time. Uh, in the meantime, everybody just keep smiling. Keep on keeping on. Just do the best you can. Take each day as it comes. Greet it with a blessing. And uh, may God bless you all. I will see you next time. Bye, Darko.